Hi everyone, it's great to have you back. This video series is all about how to use a special writing strategy that will help you answer questions about something you have read. Remember last time we read the story called Sam's Pet and then we had to answer a question. We wanted to be sure we had the R part, restate the question, and the A part, answer the question correctly. This makes your answer easier to understand for whoever is reading it. Now let's take a look at another piece of text. This one is nonfiction and it is called Bats. I will read it as you follow along. Some people think bats are bad or scary, but bats are very helpful animals. They eat lots of bugs. This helps crops to grow better because not as many bugs will eat and hurt the crops. Also, people will not have as many bugs to buzz around them or bite them when they are outside. How nice that bats help us. And here is the question. Why is it helpful for bats to eat bugs? Let's read what is written here. It is helpful for bats to eat bugs because then crops will grow better since they won't get eaten by bugs as much. Do you see how it restated the question? Whisper which words restate the question. Why is it helpful for bats to eat bugs? Yes, these words. It is helpful for bats to eat bugs because. So we underline that in green and check off that we have the R for restate the question. Then we need the A. Is there a correct answer next? Let's see. It says, it is helpful for bats to eat bugs because then crops will grow better since they won't get eaten by bugs as much. Yes, that tells why it is good that bats eat bugs. So we underline it in pink and check off that we have the answer. And now it's time for What's Wrong? It is the same story in question, but see if you can figure out what is wrong with it. Let's read the question and answer. Why is it helpful for bats to eat bugs? Because then crops will grow better since they won't get eaten by bugs as much. Well, yeah, that's why it's helpful for bats to eat bugs, right? But what's wrong? Whisper what you think is wrong. And now whisper yes or no. Did it restate the question? No, it did not. But we will remember to restate the question, won't we? Whisper yes or no. Does this have a correct answer? Yes, it does. So let's put a pink check to show we have the answer, but a green X to show it didn't restate the question. Okay, everyone, and that's all I have for us today. But before you see the next video lesson, you are going to practice doing what we did today. Please complete the two texts called Jen's Mistake and Polar Bears. You will read the text, answer the question using the R and A, and then underline the R part in green and check it off. Check off the R box and underline the A part in pink or you could use red and check off the A box. Your teacher will assign this either as an online digital assignment or on paper. And then he or she will check over your work. Bye, see you next time.